everyone, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. Today I want to show you how to make an envelope using our envelope punch board. Sometimes you might have a card that's too big or maybe you just don't have envelopes sitting around the house. You've run out of them. Well, I'm going to show you how to make your own personalized envelope. So sit back and enjoy and I will catch up with you later. Bye. Hi, it's Lori again from Scraps by Sissy. Now we're going to make an envelope using our envelope punch board. The sizes of the cards that you can make are listed on the punch board. They're, they're already printed on the board so they aren't going to go away and so is a list of instructions. For this size card we're going to make an envelope for the birthday card we made. The four and a quarter by five and a half inch card needs an eight by eight piece of envelope paper. I've already cut the paper down flip it over so it's easier to see. So it says to take an 8x8 eight eight piece of paper and score it at 3.5. It has this handy dandy little scoring tool. So we're going to put our paper in and make sure it's underneath this little tab and we'll place the left edge on 3.5. Now you see there's a line here that's actually a guide for your bone folder. That's where we're going to score the piece of paper. So you put the tip of your scoring tool up against that little notch, which fits right in that track, and you're going to drag your bone folder down to the end of the piece of paper. Now you're going to rotate your paper 90 degrees, and you're going to go right to the tip of that guide. You're going to punch. We forgot to punch. We can punch that going back around because that opens up the side where we're going to fold the cardstock. You know, score, rotate again, come back underneath and stop at the notch, punch, and then you're going to score, rotate again, come back to that notch, punch, score, this is where we started, bring it back and that's going to bring it to three and a half and punch. So now you've got this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. If you you can leave the card like the piece of paper like that or you can actually round off those corners. Back here is a corner punch. You would just feed the paper in until it stops and punch. You can do that to all four sides. Kind of gives it a more finished look. There we go. I'll set that aside and see there's all the punches. Then you'll take your piece of paper and where those score lines are, you're just going to fold it over on all four sides. And then what I do is I, I open it back up and I fold my two side pieces in and I just run adhesive down. And see the inside, you don't even need a liner because you've got the printed paper. And your card will fit nicely in there. And then just run your adhesive again. Using the plane on the outside makes it easier for you to address and put your postage on. I hope that helped. If this is something you'd like to purchase, you're free to go to stampsbylori.stampinup.net and you can order yours today. Have a great day.